Hello there. You know, I get this question all the time, both from my students in my classes and on YouTube. What is the difference between can and could? Well, in this lesson, I will teach you the three main differences between these modal verbs and I'll show you how to use them correctly without making mistakes. As always, there is a quiz at the end of the video to test your understanding. The very first thing you should know is the basic use of can. This verb is used to show ability. Here are some examples. I can play the guitar. He can lift heavy weights. She can beat anyone at chess. So all of these express ability. What about could then? Well, could is just the past tense of can. I can say, I could play the guitar when I was in school. That means I had the ability in the past, but now I can't play the guitar because it's been a long time and I'm out of practice. Here are a couple more examples. He could lift heavy weights until he had the accident. She could beat anyone at chess in her prime. In her prime means in her best years, maybe when she was younger and was playing competitively. So in these sentences, can shows present ability and could shows past ability. This is the first difference between the two verbs. The second difference is when we want to talk about possibility. To talk about what is possible, we normally use could and not can. Now imagine that you and me were both waiting for a train at a train station. It's time for the train to arrive, but we don't see it. So I might say, hmm, the train could be late. So I'm making a guess about the current or the present situation, saying what is possible. Here's another one. If you don't study, you could fail the exam. Are you sure to fail the exam? No, you could pass, but I'm saying that it's possible that if you don't study, you will fail. Notice that this sentence talks about future possibility. Ah, but I have a question. We just talked about present and future possibility. Can we talk about past possibility? Yes, we can. Here's an example. Robert could have gotten the job if he had gone to the interview. So what do we understand from that? Well, there was a job interview. It was possible for Robert to go to the interview and get the job, but he didn't go, so he didn't get the job. Now, as I said before, we use could in all these sentences to talk about what's possible in the past, present, and future. But there is one situation where you can use can, and that is when you want to talk about general possibility. For example, you can catch a cold if you go out in the rain. Traveling across Europe can be quite expensive. You can see that these are just general statements about what is possible in the world. In this case, it's okay to use can, but this use is less common. Normally, when we talk about possibility in our lives, we use could, remember that. All right, let's now move on to the final use of can and could, and this is in polite expressions when we talk to people. There are four situations that you need to know about. The first is making suggestions. For this purpose, we use could. Here are some examples. We could try that new Italian restaurant tonight. You could ask your sister to lend you some money. In the first sentence, I'm making a suggestion about where we can have dinner. In the second, I'm suggesting that if you need money, why don't you ask your sister? Using could just makes it very polite. The second situation is making requests. Here, both can and could are possible. Can you pass me the salt? Could you pass me the salt, please? Or on the phone, can I speak to Rahul? Could I speak to Rahul, please? Did you notice I said please at the end of the sentences with could? That's because could is more polite than can. So if you are in a formal situation, like you're talking to your boss or other superior and you want to be very polite, use could. If you're with friends or family, then can is fine. Our next function is making offers. Can I get you something to drink? Could I get you something to drink, sir? 
Can I help you with that? Could I help you with that, madam? Again, notice the extra politeness with could. Finally, the last conversational situation is when we want to ask for permission. Here are some sentences. Can I borrow your pen? Could I borrow your pen, please? Can I take the day off tomorrow? Could I take the day off tomorrow? If you're very friendly with your boss at work, you would use can, but if your boss is very strict, then you would use could. Okay, if you're ready, it's now time for the quiz to see if you can use can and could correctly. On the screen, there are eight sentences. In each one, I want you to fill in the gap with can or could. Stop the video, think about your answers, then play the video again and check. Okay, here are the answers. How many did you get right? Let me know in the comments section below. If you have any questions about these, you can ask me in the comments as well. If you like this lesson, give it a thumbs up by hitting the like button. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button to get my latest lessons right here on YouTube. Happy learning and I will see you in another lesson soon.